What's up guys, CJ here and welcome back to another all new recap and review of Star Trek Discovery, this time for episode 8 titled Civis Pacum Potabellum. In Latin that translates to, if you want peace, prepare for war, a saying that not only fits this episode, but also sets up for the fall finale next week in a big way. But for more, let's dive into a quick recap. The episode opens with Discovery swooping in to save another Federation ship from attack by six Klingon vessels, all of which are using Takuvma's cloaking technology. Their rescue attempt fails, but they jump out of the fire before they go down too. Stamets emerges from Jump Unstable and calls Tilly Captain. When questioned, he snaps at her that it was ridiculous and it's clear the technology is wearing on him. Later, Tilly follows up with him and he reveals that he has episodes where his memory changes, something to monitor going forward in the show. We discover that Burnham, Tyler, and Saru were deployed 18 hours before to the supposedly uninhabited planet Pavo, which vibrates with its own resonant frequency. They plan to use this as a specialized form of sonar against the Klingon, cutting through their cloaking technology. But their mission takes a turn when they discover a strange, ethereal, sentient creature, wanting them to follow it. The creature makes their mission a little more complicated, as they can't take what they need unless the creature agrees, according to First Contact Protocol. When Saru struggles to sleep thanks to the, the noise of the planet, one of the beings appears to him. Asking the creature to make it stop, it kind of reads his mind and senses his fear before relaxing him. The next morning, Saru seems perfectly relaxed and kind of strangely at peace, but things go south when he breaks Tyler and Burnham's communicators, telling them that the aliens wish for them to remain on the planet forever. Tyler tries to distract Saru to allow Burnham to communicate to the Discovery, but fails, and the scaredy cat turned predator attacks her and damages the transmitter before Burnham stuns him and slows him down, giving them enough time for the creatures to arrive. Burnham begs the Pavans to help them stop the war with the Klingon by alerting the Discovery using the crystal, to which Saru responds by begging them not to. Given the choice, the creatures choose the former, and the Discovery rescues the landing party. Back on the Klingon ship of the dead, Lorel attempts to swear fealty to Cole by offering to break a prisoner who won't talk, Admiral Cromwell. It turns out Lorel was just using Cole to get to Cromwell, and expresses her wish to defect to the Federation because of Cole's twisting of Takuvma's vision. Their escape is sidetracked when Cole finds them, but in some quick thinking, Cromwell fakes an escape attempt and Lorel fakes her death by knocking her out. Lorel plays both sides here, alleging that Cromwell escaped, but did confirm to her that Discovery has powerful technology. Cole accepts her swearing allegiance, only to reveal that he knows she's lying and taking her prisoner. But the episode ends on a pretty incredible cliffhanger. The Pavins, in an attempt to help end the conflict, invite the Klingons to the Discovery's location with a massive signal burst, and the Discovery is the only thing keeping Cole from destroying the Pavins. When it's all said and done for this series, this is going to go down as the Saru episode. I mean, first and foremost, we get our best background yet on his race, and how being a prey species helped them develop incredibly fast running, good hearing and sight, and of course, their threat ganglia. I especially love the twist of the fact that he wasn't ever being controlled by the Pavans, he was actually just shown the harmony and peace of the planet, and wanted to stay there forever for himself, and acted of his own will to do so. Another major highlight of this episode was the return of Lorel in the Klingon storyline at the forefront in a major way. Here, we had another great twist, with Cole actually sniffing out her intentions incredibly quickly and taking her prisoner, and the Klingon perspective just remains one of the best things about this show to date. The concept of the episode in general was also just fascinating. It, once again, like last episode, felt straight out of the old-school Star Trek playbook. This time, a landing party makes contact with an alien species, and we learn more about our characters from the unknown, and Saru trying to destroy the transmitter just felt ripped from the original series. Overall, this is probably my second favorite episode of the series thus far, and the show just continues to impress week after week. I'll give C. Vispacum Potabellum a 9 out of 10. Let me know what you thought in the comment section down below and if you agree with my score, but that's going to do it for me here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash that like if you like what you saw. Subscribe for more great content every single day and consider turning on your notifications to be alerted every time we upload a new video. For even more content, check out our website at hybridnetworkyt.com and if you love HN and want to take your support to the next level, consider donating to us on Patreon as we strive to bring you the best content possible. Signing off, this is CJ and I'll see you next time.